First and foremost, we want to give all the glory and all the honor and all the praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Today we're going to get into uh, Exodus 19 and 6, and we, we're, going to, we're going to go into a couple other scriptures and prove who the holy nation is and who the kingdom of heaven is promised to. Right. This is uh, Exodus chapter 19 and verse 5. Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and an holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. To the children of Israel, not to the whole world, not to the heathen nations. He's talking to the children of Israel on a conditional basis. If you keep my commandments, ye shall be unto me a, a kingdom of priests and um, what do you say? A kingdom of priests yep. and, a holy and a holy nation. This holy nation. Now we can go in. We gonna get into Matthew. Go to Matthew. Uh, Matthew 21 and 43. This is a scripture that a lot of the Christian churches use to try to say that the Most High is going to take the kingdom from, from, from the nation of Israel and give it unto another people. But we know that the Most High's word stands forever. So why would he, he change his mind from what he just said in Exodus 19 and 6 and, and go in and say that he's going to give the kingdom to somebody else? What it is, is just scriptures that, that people can't break down and don't understand. This is uh, Matthew chapter 21 and verse 43. Therefore say I unto you, and by the way, this is red letter, this is Yahweh Shah's words. Huh. The kingdom of God shall be taken from you and given to a nation bringing forth the fruits thereof. That's right. The kingdom of God shall be taken from you and given to a nation bringing fruits thereof. And that nation... When we're going to get into it, you're going to see that that is talking about the elect of Israel. That's right. Let's give me 2 uh, Peter, I mean 1 Peter 2 and 9. Okay. 2 Peter 2 and 9. That, that's the elect of Israel, man. Not all Israel is going to be saved, according to the scriptures, man. And, and, and saying otherwise from what other, other brothers say, that all Israel shall be saved but not according to the word of Yahweh. That's right. This is 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, in holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. That's right, man. That's the same thing that we just said in Exodus. Yep. Peter is quoting the same scriptures yeah. that said in Exodus 19 and 6. 19 and 5. 19 and 5. And, and was said in uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Yep. It's the same thing, man. So this is this holy nation is going to be the elect of Israel, man. Because we can expound on it more deeper, but it's, it's saying the elect of Israel. Because a lot of people can just say that's talking about Israel, mm -hmm. but it's more than just being just that nationality of Israel. You're saying here that you should show forth the praises of you, of him who called you out of darkness called into you. his marvelous light. That shows you it's a set of people that was called out of darkness into his marvelous light. That's, you know right. that's not the whole nation. He's not calling the whole nation out of darkness. Yep. He's only calling an elect. An elect shall be saved, man. Uh, let's go to uh, what you just had. That was, uh, that was, first, Peter that was first Peter 2 and 9. Well, let's just go on into... Uh, Let's just go on, jump on to uh, Second Ezra. Yeah, do Second Ezra, uh, chapter two, verse ten. Let's see. Let's see who this nation is. Uh, who is it promised to? Is it promised to the heathen, or is he talking to the nation of Israel? Because we know that the Most High Word shall not be returned void. If he said that he was going to promise the kingdom to the nation of Israel, that's what he's going to do. This is 2 Ezra, chapter 2 and verse 10. Thus said the Lord unto Ezra, Tell my people 
that I will give them the kingdom of Jerusalem. Wait, wait. Tell my people. Let's see who his people is first. Yeah, go ahead and get that. Let's see who his people is first. There's a few of them right now. Yeah, it's a few scriptures on that. Let's see who the Lord's people is. Pass it up. It's the book of Matthew. Book of Matthew, chapter 1. 1 and verse 21. Mm -hmm. This is, and he shall bring, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name, I'm going to say in verbatim, Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now let's go over here to, to this is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 2 and 6. And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. So in 2nd Edges 2 and 10, we didn't establish that his people, the most high's people, is Israel. Yep. Yep. Go ahead, huh? Yeah, so thus said the so this is 2nd Edges 2 and 10. Thus said the Lord unto Ezra, tell my people that I will give them the kingdom of Jerusalem which I would have given unto Israel. Tell Israel, tell, I mean, tell uh, my people, kingdom of Jerusalem. the kingdom of Jerusalem is going to be given to them. The basis is what he's saying. Mm -hmm. Which I would have given to Israel. Now, which Israel was going to get that kingdom? The original one that came out the land. That's right. But what? They continued not in his covenant. They, they didn't continue in his covenant. Which is the reason why it says there, if you continue, if you that's, continue. In, that's in the Exodus 19 and 5. That's right. If you can obey, my words, then ye shall be this, but they continue not in the covenant. And then he had to create the new, he had to create a new way for them to get in through the sacrifice of Yahweh Shah. Which was given to the same nation. That goes back to Judah, what? Uh, uh, I, which is an elect, uh, elect of the nation. The which Hebrews Hebrews 8 8. 8. That's right, man. That's right. You can go read the new covenant in Hebrews 8 and 8. Mm -hmm. The covenant is only for Israel. Yep. Just like the old covenant, the new covenant is only for Israel. You can read it, Hebrews 8 and 8. Yep. And now give me, uh, get the first Peter. Let me get, um, we're going to see, now this holy nation, in order to be this holy nation and to get into the kingdom, it's, it's uh, something you must do in order to get in it. You must be baptized in the name of Yahweh Shai. In the spirit, in, in the water, and in the spirit, in order to get into this kingdom, man. So let me get John, John three and three. This is John chapter three and verse three, red letter from Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. The same kingdom of God is also known as the kingdom of Jerusalem. That's right. That we brought out in 2nd Ezra chapter 2 and 10. That's right. So again, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Except a man be born again of the water and of the spirit, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Get it to yeah, go ahead, go into it. That's it. Yeah, right. we'll uh, go down to verse 4 and 5. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Yahweh shall answer, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the spirit of spirit. Marvel not that I say unto thee, he must be born again. He must be born again, man. You cannot enter in, enter in through what? Yep. Enter in through these gates. Yep. It's, it's, it's the gates that you're going to have to go in to get into the kingdom of heaven. Right. And if you're not born of the water of the spirit, yep. if you're not baptized, meaning you're not baptized, you're not going to get in through these gates. You're not baptized in the name of Yahweh In the name of Yahweh Shai, you the, will not of his enter. You will not enter in through these gates. Isaiah 26 and 2. Okay. 
and see who's going to be able to enter in through these gates. This is Isaiah, chapter 26 and 2. Open ye the gates that the righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter in. The righteous nation, the nation that's been baptized in the name of Yahweh Shah, on or the water and the spirit. That same righteous nation is going to be made a kingdom and a priest. That righteous nation, which is the elect of Israel, man. That, that, that's the only one that's going to enter in through this gate. Now remember what it said in John 3 and 5. You shall not enter in unless born of the water and spirit. Enter in the what? Enter in through these gates. That holy nation which we established, which is Israel, that's going to have to be baptized to enter in through these gates, man. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 5. And hath made us, in fact, we'll start it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And from Yahweh Shammashiach, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and hath made us kings and priests unto God and his father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. That's right, man. And in order to be partakers of his blood. As kings and priests. Yep, as kings and priests. The same thing Peter said. Mm -hmm. The same thing that was quoted back in, in, in uh, Exodus 19 and 6. It's all for the nation of Israel, the elect nation of Israel. The yep. elect is that holy nation that's going to enter in, and that elect is going to be baptized in the name of Yahweh Shai. Yep. And, and that blood, in order to be partakers in that shedding of that blood, you're going to have to be baptized, man. And that's the in only, the name of Yahweh That's right. That's the only way that blood was shed for your past sins. Ooh, and, and the act of faith you had to do was get in that water to be partakers of that blood that was shed right. for that particular nation. Got that's it. right. So all that about the baptism is done away with, all you got to do is just repent. Man, you got to get in that water to enter in through these gates, man. The sins remitted. That's in right. The name of Yahweh Shah. That's why John the Baptist was a foreigner of that and the disciples continued. That's right. They continued it because it was important. For you to, in order to receive your uh, your remission of your sins. Yep. There's some gates, man. You got to go through. Them. In order to get through them gates, first thing you're gonna have to have is a baptism. Yep. And we ain't talking about no baptism of the word either. Very about first thing you get. Water baptism in the name of Yahweh Shai. This is um. This is second. The chapter of Colossians, chapter 2 and 12. Uh, buried with him in baptism, wherein ye are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God, who hath raised him from the dead. All right, and you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcised decision of your flesh, and he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses, blotting out the handwritten of the ordinances that was written against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. Okay? So, don't, you would have to believe in Yahweh Shai and have those trespasses blotted out yep. in order for you to be considered worthy to enter into the kingdom. That's right, man. And it tells you, you have to be buried, be buried with him in baptism in the name of Yahweh Shai. Buried with That's him in baptism, man. Most of the brothers can't, that don't believe in the baptism, they can't even explain that. Yeah. That Romans chapter 6, that Galatians, what that you read, Colossians, Colossians that don't even apply to none of them, man. That don't apply to them at all. Tell you how to become the righteous nation. That's like the first step. Then you got to work out your salvation, go to sanctification. Prepare yourself to enter in through these gates, man. This is uh, Romans 6 and 2. Uh, and we'll start in verse 3. Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Yahweh Shammashach were baptized into his death? Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death. That like as Mashiach was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. Okay? 
and it tells you when you keep going down that about his crucifixion, which is the shedding of his blood that we read in first yep. uh, chapter of Revelation, yep. chapter That's five right. and six, chapter five. And when you keep reading down, it says verse five, and if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall also be we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection, knowing this that our old man is crucified with him, crucified with him because his blood was shed. That's how his blood was shed through the crucifixion. Knowing that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. That's right. Okay? Now for he that is dead and freed from sin, now if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. That's right. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna live with to live this husband, to live as Christ, to die as gain. So when you're living in him after you've been baptized, you're walking in the newness of life, in the likeness of him. And then, as you keep going, the plan, the chant plan is to what? Inherit the kingdom. Which will allow you to enter into those gates because you believed on the gospel, you were baptized for the remission of the sins, and you received the gift of the Holy Spirit. And that's how you're going to enter into the kingdom. And that's the righteous nation that the brother was talking about in Isaiah 6, 26 and 2. That's the righteous nation. The righteous nation that kept the truth. That's what it tells you. Yep, that's right, man. They didn't keep a lot. Righteous nation. It was spoken about in uh, Exodus 7 and no, Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Exodus 19 and 6. 19, 5 and 6. 2 Peter 2 and 9. 2nd Edge 2 and 10. And, uh, that other nation, and then Matthew 21 and 43. Okay. This is the book of Isaiah. And you, if you, if some Bibles have headings like this one here is the restoration of Zion, and it's going into the end time. Verse sixty, uh, chapter sixty-two, and verse. I'm um, just go right on into it. verse ten. Go through, go through the gates. Prepare ye the way of the people. Cast up. Cast up the highway, gather out the stones, lift up a standard for the people. Behold, the Lord has proclaimed unto the end of the world, say ye to the daughter of Zion, behold thy salvation coming. Behold, his reward is with him and his work before him. So these gates that you're going to have to in the end is only for Israel. No That's other nation. Got something for you. This is Psalm 118 and verse 19. That's it. Where you just at? Uh -uh, I just said, look at it just not too long ago. I, that was the other one. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will go into them and I will praise Yahweh. The gate of Yahweh into which righteousness shall enter. What, 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 the what? righteous shall enter. What, 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 uh, what did Yahweh Shai say before he got baptized? It's for me to fulfill all, all righteousness. All righteousness. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. And only the righteous gonna get in this gate, man. Those righteous is the ones that have been baptized. All right, look at the cold the thing, thing right. Yahweh Shai did. All right, go get, go get the, uh, Book of St. Matthew. 21 or 40, you go to like 41 or 42 where you said the stone is to build with your head. Now keep this. Go. Uh, this is 41. What's going to Because it had to be right before that. I think it might be after. Or is it after? Yeah, it's after. Go ahead and read, read, read 43 and read 44, and I'm going to read this. Okay. This is the book of St. Matthew 21 and 43. Therefore say I unto you, the kingdom of God shall be taken from you and given to a nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof. And whosoever shall fall on this stone shall be broken, but on, who, but on whomsoever it shall fall, it will grind him to power. Now this is Psalm 118 and verse 19. Open to me the gates of, the righteous, of righteousness, I will go into them and I will praise the Lord. The gate of the Lord into which the righteous shall enter, I will praise thee, for thou hast heard me and art become my salvation. 
the stone which the builders refuse is become the headstone of the corner. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. That's right, man. Come on, bro. So he was quoting. He was quoting Matthew. He's quoting, well, in Matthew's Matthew, Matthew, Matthew was Psalm quoting, 18. Matthew was quoting Psalm 118. Yeah, Yahweh Shai was quoting this. That's right. Psalm 118. Yeah, Yahweh Shai. That red letter. That's right, man. <laughs> You can't get around it, yeah, you man. You get around it, bro. You can't get around it, man. All Israel is not getting in them gates, man. I, I, only those of Israel that elect of Israel, they gonna be baptized, and they gonna get in the gates. Not saying everybody that's gonna be baptized gonna get in the gates. We not saying that, but we saying those who do get in, they gonna be baptized. This is a uh, song. Chapter 24, verse 7. Uh, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? Yahweh strong and mighty, Yahweh mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. The gates is open to Yahweh Shai and his elect. Lift That's up ye gates. Man. Lift up ye everlasting doors. Yep. It tells you, we, we just read, he's the first, he's the first, first begotten of the dead. So he gotta be the first one to be in there. The first one. And then the gate is opened up to the rest of the nation, the righteous nation. The ones that kept his truth, the ones that believed in him, the ones that got baptized in his name for the remission of sins, That's right, received man. the Holy Spirit, and That's right. continued his works until the end. Yep. The same peculiar nation, the kingdom of, of, of kings and priests. Yep. The ones that was called out of the darkness into the marvelous into light. His marvelous light, man. You're telling me this, if, uh, if, if, if somebody's in darkness and rejected his word, they entered into the kingdom? Peter just told you, those that were called out of darkness into his marvelous light. That's right. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Revelation at the end. This is Revelation. You got something? Go ahead. This is Revelation, chapter 21. And verse 12, and had a wall great and high, and had 12 gates, and at the 12 gates 12 angels, and the names written thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Which again, like the brother said, proves what? The, the other nation is still who? The other nation is Israel. It's still Israelites. Yeah. It's just not all the Israelites. It's just not all of them. Just he, gonna, he gonna give you, a, a, you he can say he's giving a remnant from each tribe. Yeah. Up in that which you can read. Yeah, yeah. It says that in, uh, in, in chapter 7, 7, 14. Yeah, chapter right 7. There. Yeah. On the east three gates, on the west, on the north three gates, on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. And the wall of the city had 12 foundations, and for them, the names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. And he that talked with me had a golden reed to measure the city and the gates thereof and the walls thereof. And that's really all we need. It's just to show you that the gates. Yeah, yeah. I could go down to the verse 21. And the 12 gates were 12 pearls. Every, uh, every several gate was of one pearl. And the street of the city was pure gold. And it were transparent, as it were, transparent glass. So just describing metaphorically the city of the elect that's going to be chosen to come in through those gates and it tells you yep. also that what will not enter in that's right man which is all the th all the uh, wicked wicked ones that did all the things contrary and it tells you these will not enter in and these will be cast into the lake of fire cast into the lake of fire this is second Ezra chapter 2 and verse 34 and therefore i say unto you O ye heathen that hear and understand Look for your shepherd. He shall give you everlasting rest. Now you know this he that he's talking about Israel. That's right. This is the ones that was in darkness. Yep. But let's see. Shepherd shall he give you everlasting rest. For he is nigh at hand. That shall come in the end of the world. Be ready to the reward of the kingdom. 
for the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore. That's the ones he brought out of darkness and bring it into his everlasting light, like the brother just read. Flee the shadow of this world, receive the joyfulness of your glory. I testify my Savior openly. Oh, receive the gift that is given you and be glad, giving thanks unto him that has called you to the heavenly kingdom. We already said who that, who that heavenly kingdom is for, man. It's going to show it. Arise up and stand. Behold the number of those that be sealed in the feast of the Lord. Now you can read that number that was sealed in, in uh, Revelation chapter 7. Mm -hmm. Which are deported from the shadow of the world and have received glorious garments of the Lord. Take thy number, O Zion, and shed, shed those up thine that are clothed in white, while, while which have fulfilled the law of the Lord. So it's, it's plain, man. Yeah. The kingdom is promised to the nation of Israel, the elect nation of Israel, which is that holy nation, which will be baptized in the name of Yahweh Shai for forgiveness of sin. Mm -hmm. And that, that's who the kingdom is for, man. Those are the ones who are going to be allowed to enter in through the, into those gates, yep. into the kingdom. Yep. Those that kept the word of his testimony. That's right, man. And obeyed his commandments. The righteous. Mm -hmm. that's, that's who's going to be the end to end, the righteous elect of Israel, man. That holy nation, the one that separated itself from the world. That's right. Yep. You got anything else on that? Let's uh, review. I mean, we can go on and on, but you got precepts, man. That's it. But it, it just needed to be established on something right quick. God, God. This is Matthew chapter 26 and verse 6. Now, when Yahweh was in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, there came unto him a whip a woman with an al having an alabaster box of very precious ointment and poured it on his head as he sat at meat. But when his disciples saw it, they had the, na the nation saying, to what purpose is this waste? For this ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor. When Yahweh shot the city, he said unto them, Why trouble ye the woman? For she hath wrought a good work upon me. For ye have the poor always with you, but me ye have not always. For in that she hath poured this ointment on my body, she did it for my burial. Verily I say unto you, wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also this woman have done be told for the memorial of her. That we want to give all the glory and all the honor and all the praise to the heavenly Father Yahweh in the name of His Son Yahweh Shai. Peace and salutation to the brothers and sisters of Israel. Shalom. Shalom.